God's creation of you an act of love. Was that act itself, in and of itself, was it an intentional act of love on the part of your Creator? I think that's something to think about, something to consider, and you can get a lot of understanding as far as you can get a lot of understanding as far as the way you see things goes. I believe that it is true that it was an act of love and it, it creates a lot of other questions. It can answer a lot of questions, I believe, as well. And the one I wanted to focus on is if you believe that the fact that you even are that you exist at all, if not being proof of it, at least is a strong indicator that there is an amazing force of love that exists that caused you to be. That that is undeniable. So my question is, if that is so, does it make sense that we would go through our lives trying to get that love. So that creates another question. When did you lose it then? If that's the case, when did you lose it? Because we're all born fallen. Another question. Does being born fallen mean you are born rejected by God? And I know this goes into a depth that could just go on for hours or days or volumes of books. So I just want to touch on a couple to, to encourage thought and discussion and, and prayer, honestly, to ask Him to find out so you will find out from the one source. But I just want to share some of the things that we found here that it is clear that we were created in love. That... Someone loves us, specifically our Creator. We believe that Creator is Jesus Christ Himself. He created us, created us with intention and with love. And I am not to spend the rest of my life trying to purchase that love. I already have it. I am fallen from His grace at my birth. And to remedy that, He came here as a man that is the eternal God himself, the one who dwells in unapproachable light, the one who was before anything was, came here as a human being like me and did what was necessary to give me the opportunity to live with him forever, which was the next great act of love, I guess you could say. I don't know how you could say one is greater than the other. Of course, him giving his life, I guess, would be the greatest act of love. Because he said, no no greater love has any man than that he should give his life for his friends. So, he not only created me, he then gave his life to create the opportunity for me to be with him forever. Even though I failed. Even though I am fallen. Even though I have rejected him. He now has presented me with the opportunity... That even while I was yet a sinner, he died for me. My God gave himself for me. So, I'll answer that question on both ends. The main two ideas or questions I want to present is, was I created in love? Yes, we were all created in love intentionally by our Creator. And it does not make sense to live your life trying to get that love from Him. Rather... It would make more sense to live your life trying to figure out how could he love me so much that he would not only create me out of nothing, that he would give me a physical body and a spirit with a personality that has all the things that are unique to me and makes me completely unique among all the humans who are alive or have ever existed or ever will. He may be completely unique. And, and then gave me this great opportunity not to earn any more of that love as though I could, but to just receive it to 
observe and learn of how great a love he has for me and be changed by that love as opposed to the religious ideal which is change myself so that I can get it. There's no way you could earn such a love. Even if he said that, he said, you, you're going to earn my love. You could never do that. So why put us through the paces of supposedly doing that? It, it would not make any sense. It would make him a liar because such a thing could not be earned. By definition, it could not be earned. Could you earn the love of someone jumping in front of a of gunfire for you? Could you earn that? Of course not. And how much more so with your eternal soul? Your God through the eternal spirit shed his blood for you. Your creator. Who thought it would be so wonderful that you existed, that he created you as that unique individual. Don't try to earn it. Don't try to keep it. Don't try not to lose it. Just get to know it. Try and get to know this great love, this one who is love. And really have a new life. In Jesus' name, amen.